Good morning guys and welcome back to PA Street Scene. My name is Derek and it is currently a dreary Friday morning in Pennsylvania. Um, I'm really excited though. I got the day off from my day job and we are heading down to Mount Joy to a company called Liquid Wrap Labs because today is the day the color gets changed on my R32. For those of you that have been following me on Instagram, you know I've been teasing a color change for a while and I'm really excited with the color we picked because there's not many cars that I've seen that have this color and I've never seen one in person. And I realized last Sunday at the Spring Breakdown show in Lebanon, which was amazing by the way, um, I realized that even though the R32 is very special, especially in a crowd of Volkswagens, when it's black, it just kind of blends in. It looks like every other Mark IV Golf there because of the, you know, there's so many of the R32 aftermarket bumpers that are available. Lots of people put them on their Golfs and GTIs. So for people who don't really know what they're looking at, they just assume it's another Golf or a GTI with an R32 bumper. So I think the color that we're doing today is really awesome. Um, it's definitely going to get uh, grab people's attention, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. So John has been gracious enough to allow us to come down and film while they spray the car. Um, I actually dropped it off Wednesday night, and they spent all yesterday, for my, to my knowledge, um, they spent it prepping the car, clay barring it, taping it off, um, and possibly even doing the base coat. I'm not sure if they got that far. Um, we'll find out when we get there. But today I'm going to do some time-lapse footage and uh, things like that so we can see the new color on my R32. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Even if it doesn't seem that way, I'm a little tired. It's pretty early, um, but we have about an hour's worth of driving to get there. So with that said, I'm going to make my way down to Mount Joy and I'll see you when we get there. All right, guys, we finally made it down to Mount Joy. We are currently standing in Liquid Wrap Labs. Um, they're the only Premium Plus installer of Dip Your Car products in the state of Pennsylvania. Um, my new friend John is running around somewhere. He just finished with the base coat for the R32. It now is a beautiful color of snow white, and I'm kind of all about it. Um, the color that we're going is really great, but I at least know for the future that white is a great color for this car. So I'm gonna turn you around so you can see it. So let's take a look. Yeah, the color that we're using requires a white base layer, so it goes the whole way around the car, and it will be satin. Um, the color that we're actually using is called Polaris Yellow. It's kind of like a neon, highlightery yellow-green. It's really obnoxious, and I can't wait. Um, everybody, this is John. <laughs> He's the... Uh, the proprietor of Liquid Wrap Labs, and he's been hanging out with me all day, being really awesome and letting me uh, ask a billion questions while he's trying to work. But yeah, this is the color we're going with, and the camera does not do justice to how obnoxious this color is, and I honestly cannot wait. Um, but yeah, the plan for the car is that the whole thing will be Polaris Yellow, the 1552 Turbo Max will be black, um, the roof will be black. The side, wit or, uh, the side mirrors will be black, and then they're also going to be doing my calipers in the Polaris yellow as well. So it should be really cool. I can't wait to see it, but I know John's getting ready to mix up the Polaris, so let's let him do that, and I'm going to try a time lapse. So hopefully if you guys see a time lapse in a couple seconds, that means that it worked.
did. I just stepped outside for a couple minutes for some fresh air. Um, John is in putting the, what should be the last coat of Polaris Yellow on the R32. It is retina burning at this point and it's only under um, fluorescent lighting. So I'm sure it's gonna be amazing in direct sunlight. I believe after this coat, we're gonna start moving on to the black details like the wheels, the roof, uh, the side mirrors and the grills. So it'll really kind of offset the yellow because the yellow is so overwhelming. We really wanted to break it up a bit with some black. Um, and I'm really thinking that the black roof especially and the black wheels will do that. So I can't wait to see it. Let's get back to the time lapse. Good morning guys, it is now Saturday and we are heading back down to Mount Joy. I'm in the car with my dad and my little brother and my sister and basically uh, I ended up leaving the shop last night at midnight. Uh, we were all exhausted, myself, John and also his friend Julie who came over to help out for the last couple hours. The color is insane, I'm so excited to pick it up and um, as soon as I get the car I'm going to settle, settle up one payment with John and then we're going to head straight over to Volksfest. Um, it's a show at the grounds of the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair and I kind of planned it so I would show up a couple hours into the show kind of just to make an entrance because, you know, that's what I like to do. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be a great time. 